kuna dema shai kuja kunifungukia lakini pe stories zake mzee mpaka nikamfukuza nikamwambia aziishi ya mm alikuwa yani sikuwa nime mario time oh yani tulibonga nikasikia <coughs> mwili wangu ina react nikamwambia zi mimi ni pasi lakini acha tu niende tafuta demo mpe story <laughs> haya na aliniambia alikuwa na struggle na lesbianism akaniambia pasi mimi watu wote upe story yangu wewe does na mimi when you are masturbating unataka nga kumaliza hii shughuli ya raka so what happens is that if when you are married it introduces you to what we call um fast ejaculation you end up not even satisfying mm. your wife and many men that masturbate majority don't satisfy their wives e, e, even your porn na, na, na hii demon inaitwa smodius sasa ndo inakuanga in charge of what we call the night demons easy 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 ndoto watu upata wa have sex na majority of people that watch porn wanakuanga na hizo dreams oh. you might call them wet dreams wasay pia hii na kuanga divided kwa sababu zimanga aje nini nini but mbona ulizanga tu swali how comes hakuna siku shai yote umedish ukamko umeshiba eh eh how comes he do not okay have sex una mkanga kuna reaction Hello and a warm welcome to the show. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, the conversation around pornography and masturbation is not likely to go anywhere anytime soon. And while well, some people say it's evil, some will even argue masturbation can help reduce the risks of prostate cancer and other theories. I'm with someone who is going to help us break down this conversation and what dangers are really there. But before I let him introduce himself, allow me to say thank you to Westwood Hotel for giving us this amazing space so that we are able to bring you these conversations that have the ability to impact lives and now without further ado please allow me to let my guest today introduce himself hello hello wow thank you very much my name is pastor Tim Wangi yeah uh, life church international limuru mm -hmm. and also the founder of truth mentorship society yeah. a husband and author and a mentor yeah. and a speaker and a speaker yes and now a good friend of the lean yes, gugi uh, show yes now a partner a partner <laughs> a partner of the lean gugi, of the lean gugi show pastor t thank yes. you so much for coming oh thank you the last interview we had with you here yeah. was about fighting the spirit of rejection mm. and i believe you've also seen the feedback for the, yourself the first feedback was from my mother Oh yeah. So, <laughs> if my mother is watching you're doing a good job. We are doing a good job. Yes, Mama yes. proves. <laughs> We Mama are proves. doing a good job. Yes, yes. Yeah. I want to get straight to the topic of the day mm. and I thought honestly some there are topics that ukiniuliza mm. the first time when I think about these topics the first person to come to my mind is Pastor T because mm. again I'll go back to you are very relatable and you actually treat us ni kama tutoit wenye hatujui so una to explain ya vitu mpaka tunaelewa and I thought this conversation around pornography yeah. and masturbation mm. it's 50-50 mm -hmm. ama maybe 30-80 mm -hmm. 70 ama 20-80 mm -hmm. and I thought let me call Pastor T so that we are able to break down this conversation and the first question I'll even ask you is some people say there is nowhere even in the Bible masturbation has been mentioned mm. that it's evil yeah. and there is nowhere we've even been warned against pornography mm -hmm. so according to you pornography and masturbation mm. what dangers are really there ama ni kitu tunafaa tuachwe tufanye um number one, mm. we need to understand that generations zimekuwa zikishift uh tumetoka kwa what we're calling the written media uh, tukakuja kwa print media sasa tuko kwa social media na the age of digital media mm -hmm. um na these are now internet comes on board mm -hmm. so the bible kuna vitu haijataja directly hata tukaa bangi they hakuna pale nasemanga thou shall not smoke weed <laughs> but tunakuja unaona madhara na zile vitu ina cost but kuna few scriptures kama kwa Ephesians kuna pale bible nasema hata kusisikike a hint of immorality of even or even a thought of immorality mm. kwa sababu wakati tunakuja kwa days of Jesus alisema if you look at a woman lustfully not just just looking hiyo kuangalia na useme mazi nikiza get to dem mm -hmm. ni kubaya yeah. that is a sin wewe na mwenye ame dose na dem muko in the same category 
So lust in a kuanga, a legal desire that wants to be met illegally. So ideally unakuta, it's a desire, it's something in the heart, it's something in the mind. Mm. Dio, in a kuanga, we say that the biggest sexual organ is your mind. So it all begins in the mind. Mm -hmm. So tukikuja kwa kitu ka pornography, unaanza kuelewa um, ini kitu ilianza after second world war. Wakati civilization na nations ilianza kutulia kidogo. Uh, th sometimes wanasamanga there is the curse of the blessing. Uh, in Isaiah wanasamanga there is a man ali, ali, ali cut a tree. Mm. After ku cut the tree, aka use some of the wood to warm himself. The other wood aka tumia ku build a house and the other wood aka build uh, an idol na kai worship and so the early form of pornography ili kuangani you know vitu zimechorwa pictures and sometimes kul kuangana special houses where people will go and watch naked women and you see because of popular uh, society tunajuana mm. where we unanijua ili kwa ni very rare mm -hmm. guys will drive very far to go and just watch these you know nude photos of people then to kengia kwa the print age where people will now buy erotic materials uh, magazines and all that mm. and then now we entered into the internet age which now is a blessing and a curse na internet ikakuja na few things and as in itangwa, the, the four A's of internet. Number one, internet ilikuja na accessibility. That you can, it's very accessible. Kwanza ita imenye tunaishi. Mtuhi ya kona phone yake. As young, kwanza especially ita imenye COVID. Many children only buy your gadgets. I love the second thing, ni affordability. Eh, na bundles ya 10 bob, you can do a lot. Yes. And then kuna um, anonymity. Anonymity. Yes. Uh, uh, see, aunijui. Uh, Kitambo, hizi madenzi ilikuwa zinashu ingi porn, zilikuwa zinashu iwa usiku, ata mtani, walikuwa na ndikanga WWF. Oh. <laughs> Ukiona yo poster, unajua, eh, hey, hapa hivi, kuna eh. reso, lakini. <laughs> oh, ndani ni, oh, okay. <laughs> eh, yeah. Eh, lakini unawana inaanza 10.30, yes. ama 9.30, yeah. ju movie, movie likuwa inaisha 8, mm -hmm. ama 9. Mm -hmm. So unajua hii WWF, eh, ni, ni, ni story na porn. Yeah. Unajua juu kwa kwa hiyo mtaa, unogopa labda kuna msia na kujua. But sa hizi kwa internet, kuna anonymity. An anonymity. Yes, anonymity. anonymity eh, yeah. Uneza ingia behind the gadget, behind mm. the phone. Mm. <coughs> watch, and no one knows you. And then there is the addictive. I mean, internet is addictive, and also porn is addictive. Now maybe tunaza nzatuna a few, so that watu wajue pali tuko. Yes. Um, globally, kuna more than 60 million pornographic sites. Globally. 60 million. 60 million. So, tunaza donate ya kila mkenya yake. Na tubaki na 15 mi million oh. za pena Uganda. Yes. <laughs> so, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's something. A wide, it's a wide. It's a wide thing, eh? Um, research za ma, ma, ma tu, 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 nine to ten. Zilikuwa zinasema the industry generates around 57 billion dollars. So, it is also a multi-billion billion. enterprise. In a generate 57 billion. Alafu unakuta the most victims ni men. Men are the most victims Only of victims, pornography. Yes. Oh. Because of their, um, their infrastructure. Men are sight beings. So when a man sees anakuanga, you know, they get sexually aroused. But women are sensual. They, they have to operate with touch and sometimes emotional. Yes. So two thirds of porn consumers wanakuanga ni men. A third on a kwangani women. And that's why in a end up kuwa a personal struggle because men don't share what they are going through. And you see this is a shameful thing. So una realize majority of the people are caged and they don't know how to get out. Alafu vile pony me pakejiwa, there are so many lies in porn that people don't know. Other than sikusema porn is seen, porn is also acting. It's not real, you know. These these are actors. They they create scenarios. They are paid for the for what they do, mm -hmm. and that's when they tango adult entertainment. Even from definition, pornography in akwangani prostitutes images or prostitutes captured in videos. That we okay, break down the Greek definition of pornography mm. in akwangani prostitutes are captured in images or prostitutes are captured in videos or motion graphics. Oh. So that's the whole thing about porn. Mm. Na, 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 in this acting, they create something that is not real. They create 
a, a sexual world that in reality is not real. They make sex look like it is so available, so accessible that a man and a woman can meet and have sex because they kill the natural element of relationship. Porn pain akwanga diminishing to women. And I said majority of the consumers of porn are men. They end up seeing women as objects and tools of pleasure. And I a lot of Greek background because Greek all kona semanga mistresses are for pleasure but wives are for children. Now Romans all kona view women as a tool of strength, military power. African, the same, kulikuwa, you know, tunaitanga male chauvinism, where, where it's a male-dominated society. Mm -hmm. So kichukua all that, unanza kukuta the place of a woman in a kwa considered as a sexual object. Tukuje tu to a society today, eh, mwanome akipata do, the next thing you have vile atatafta mpangwa kando. So that mentality ni perceptions imekuwa created na sex. Mm. Um, and, and it also kills what I call the natural intimacy. Because in marriage context, sex is a, is a, is a, is a product of events. good sex. And it is not what people talk about. It's not about sexual organs, uh, the size and all that. Good sex is about chemistry. Now your chemistry in Akwanga about sequences of intimacy. Uh, intimacy, <laughs> Mr. Ango would define as a is intimacy. You know, you are just open and you are there. Na kuna so many things, by the way, sex iko chini kwa food chain ya intimacy. Oh. Kuna intellectual intimacy. That mm. tunaza piga story. For hours. Eh, for, for hours. hours. I eh, love that. Yeah. Kuna your connection yeah. come. Yeah. Eh, kuna, kuna financial intimacy. Either absence or presence. Tunaza mm -hmm. enda pali juu tukona do to mm. have lunch. Na pia juu atuna do, tuna spend more time pamoja na tuna bonga. Yeah. Na tuna kuwa vulnerable. Yeah. Or we can go for a movie. Yes. Yeah. Uh, kuna, kuna yo tu intimacy. Wase wame hang out pali. Wame spend time together. Uh, kuna physical intimacy. Ya romance. Um, kuna spiritual intimacy. That we share the same faith. Tumetoka mm. church. Tume pray pamoja. And then sasa unanza kuta on, on, the, on the uko chini kwa food chain. Pia kuna hobby intimacy, alafsa kuna sexual intimacy. Oh. So na kuta in a couple setting, uh, sex is not the uh, sex sex is not the end goal. Kuna a lot of interaction yes. before what to have sex. Yeah. But you see, porn portrays it like boom. Come. Na kwa happen. Yes. Yeah, it's more physical. Yeah. Na ku create a very a very strange perception. Then on the same area, porn ukuja ina ku create ya a world of fantasies. V2 in real reality you may not get them. Mm. So you begin to operate in in a in a in a in a world of sexual fantasies. Na hiyo sana unakujanga inaanza kufungwa the door of curiosity na hata inaanza kufungwa the door of masturbation na hapo kwa door of curiosity inaanza kufungwa doors of vitokales bianism gayism because it creates a world of mm. fantasies mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and it is you know it, it is it is Ni tricky tu kivyake. Mm. And, and ukiangalia kwa undani, porn, inakuanga na, tuneza hii summarize into four effects. And, and, and the first effect inakuanga ni physical effect. Naturally to kwa physical nature. Na kwa yu physical effect, very basic things. Time wastage. Yeah, because onasema majority of the people in the workspace, majority of them, statistics in onesha, wame access pornographic site ama wo access pornographic site mm. so as i imagine what you are supposed to do with that time yeah. the output <coughs> is affected because it takes time almost 40 to 45 minutes to utoke kwa your site because site za porn zina kuanga na options na ina kuanga ni kama swimo ni ka swimo ama supermarket eh, tu, 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 yeah eh iko na shallow <coughs> end na iko na deep end Una juu kianza kuswim, mm. eh, unasikia nga tu ka attraction ka kuenda deep end. Juu iyo pressure ya maji na nini. Inakuvuta. Una, inakuvuta. And that's the same thing na pawn. Unakute kona isha low end, what we call the soft pawn. Na hizi soft pawn ziko all over. Unaingia Instagram, mademo na twerk, eh, unaingia Facebook, eh, mapicha zimea kwa hapo hivyo. Machali na six pack. Eh, telegram sasa ndio madness. <coughs> Juu telegram mm. kuna a lot of uh, staff, kuna, kuna so much shared on Telegram that is sexualized. Um, 
sasa hizi sasa watu wametoka hata kwa kwa access hizi vitu tu za kawaida watu wameingia kwa sex chatting uh, video calling and all that yani tunaishi tu kwa world fulani crazy eh, mm. na, na tumtutuko huko nje tunakaa very innocent yeah. lakini ni tu psycho <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eh, yani perversion iko on the rise. Na ni uh, ni because of consumption of some of these yes. things. So unakuta physically ikitu na kuestia time. Wasoma me lose careers. Do upon. Ju, you don't deliver. Unakuta um, umeingia kwa ofisi, ume spend hours on porn. Tulikuwa kwa meeting na wakasema statistics inaonesha young people spend between 7 to 8 hours on social media online. Uone mtu sasa hizi ameingia mid term ama amefunga uo mtu hii ni kama ako full time employment vile unaingia 8 to 5 yeah anaingia <laughs> anaingia kwa o, nini ako online kwa phone ama yes. laptops yes and then what happens eh, wow. young people zile ma site wana like si zenye si tuna like wako na dunia yao kuna vitu tu wame discover so kuna ma site wana like na wanazishare eh umeona hii umeona hii so unakuta zina trend and then um, naturally anytime mtu watch born for the first time mm. in a kuanga surprise oko what in nini but slowly inaanza ku affect mm. na na na, na wezangi kujua mm. na hapo kwa physical nimebeba notes zangu juu hii kitu ni serious sana eh? yeah, ni deep. na na sikuwa nataka ni miss yes. anything yeah. um uh, uh, sikuwa nataka ni miss anything mm-hmm. so hapa kwa physical kuna vitu kadhaa eh, zenye zina kuanga affected mm-hmm. the first thing kuna kitu itango dopamine yo 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 ndo wanga the source of all addiction it's a chemical released in the brain alafu yo chemical inaanza nga ku create a craving so na wana sema porn na cocaine and heroin is almost the same area porn cocaine and heroin yeah, they are very addictive if you are watching porn and someone is taking cocaine there's no difference there's no okay difference ni impact yes. bodily yeah. but in terms of addiction, addiction. by the time una ingia your third picture of porn ni kama ushaanza kuingia addiction mm. na nimekwambia kuna 66 million yes. so unaweza imagine the kind of perversion and the kind of things that is na kwa posted yeah. na pon ukupe options so si hadi na nango nakuta pon iko na race iko na iko na all sizes shapes all madness mm. so it's like that's why i said it's a pull you enter you begin from shallow end na unaanza ku desire mm-hmm. so aga ka dopamine ndio kana kuanga kaka trigger kama craving aka ndo kana kuanga in charge of all addictions tei fegi nini akaka dopamine juni ka chemical reaction u release yoko brain na kana release yango in excess mm-hmm. na kanaanza ku demand hiyo kitu yenye ili trigger ndo inaanza nga ku demand e feed e yeah. chemical reaction yeah. so kama ilikuwa triggered na pon inaanza nga ku create a demand for that mm. particular content enye likuwa wow. so in physical in psychological yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eh, kuna 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 nyingine pia and these are hormones sasa tunaongea hormone umefungwa two side umeangalia hormones imeanza ku react ma chemical reaction ile yako imeanza zikizikizi oh akili yes yes uh, kuna nyingine inaitwa norepinephrine mm. hii wachana na hiyo jina hiyo chemical hiyo <laughs> norepinephrine inakuanga ndio the cause ya what we call details Yaani ume watch porn ni kama ume cram kila kitu hizo images zimebaki. Unaweza kuta mtu ali watching porn 10 years ago but anaweza ikumbuka in detail. It's because of that chemical reaction. Oh. Yes, it captures you kuna hata wa same u masturbate na porn wali watch jana be ama hata kitambo because the images are still stuck in the mind mm. and they are fresh mm-hmm. and there's a chemical that is in charge of that. Yeah. And then kuna nyingine inaitwa oxytocin. Hii oxytocin ilikuwa discovered na nursing mothers wakati mama amepata tu mtu hii directly akileta huyo mtu hii kuna kuanga na natural connection na inakuanga wakati amona huyo mtu hii brain yake release oxytocin it's a hormone hiyo hiyo oxytocin ndio inakuanga in charge ya connection na utakuta inakuanga released sana sana wasee wa kime out wasee wa hold hands and it is released in excess when people having sex mm. na hiyo sasa unasikianga kuna ka bond flani uki have sex na mse other than tukienda kwa soul ties yes. the, there is a there is a hormonal connection oxytocin that is always there hata mm. wasi wajifanye mauru aje eh wadu semanga is you know eh, kuna ka honest ndani yangu hata kama kako kuna ka urachetness eh, eh, eh. hata kama kako mm. utakuta tu kuna ka feeling ka kwa touch to every encounter una have and that's why there are people who prefer having sex carelessly when they are drunk because they are silencing the subconscious and they are trying to uh, kuchitizi hormones 
but unajua homo ni homo so either utam kana guilt ama utam kwa feel used and utajaribu ku survive na kujiconvince na many things mm. so hizi ni sasa zile whatever we call this is what is released um in terms of you are, you, you are hormonal mm. and, and the, now this is what causes the addiction because unaona kama hii oxytocin ndio mm-hmm. inaletanga hiyo bonding na mtu hii so hii ndio inaletanga bonding na watu jai meet una feel tu kuna msi nafaa ku meet online and then pony na kupanga option so utakuta watu wanakuanga na different tastes and preferences now because of that unaenda unapata that option that you are looking for either it's a male or a female you can get that option because 60 million is such a it's wide it's readily thing. available eh yeah, so utakutanga ni kama ume dive in no me dive into the options mm. but it's because there is a hormonal demand mm. so so you begin to get the lady you want you get the man you want you you get the crave and the crazy you want at the end of the day mm-hmm. and it it ends up becoming very addictive oh you on the physical yes na na sasa hapo ndo inakuja ngai inakuwa as a trigger enye na kuleta nga kwa masturbation and all that na pia kwa hiyo physical unakutanga many people who watch porn wanakuanga antisocial because they can get you online all, all they need to do ni kuangalia dem na wajiambia ni aje au dem na as i'm get online So I'll, I'll just get a sample of you online and subconsciously I'll feel like I'm having sex with you uh, because when people watch porn some of them masturbate so it becomes a trigger and so you realize they have a very antisocial kind of of program they don't network e social connection in a kwanga taken out cause of so these ne- options yeah eh sasa unakuta na pain anza ku affect esteem yako Because ideally when you are not social you see it's in social life that una get approval na mbio nakapoa nini nini and all that and and these words help to build who we are so when these words are not communicated at the end of the day unakuta uh, socially uko very much yeah. off yeah. majority of the people that watch porn and mm. masturbate they love their space wanaishi ngi solo watakangi company jukuna haka ka kitu anataka ku do na na hata hata ukikani kama unataka kuingia sleep over Utona dogo na vile nataka kukutoka. Juu kuna kwa ka craving na kuna time inafika ngambaka inakuwa ni kama india yako iko condition that you have to watch porn at a certain time. Mm. Ikifika hiyo time ile yako mzima inaanza ku react. Kwa sababu sasa you are so wired. Easy chemical reaction. Inafika two points as a killer chemical inaanza kuji mm. kuji release in, mm. in their orders. Mm. And and it's a very serious thing. There's also porn may break marriages mob sana. Kuna kwanga na argument ya mazetu kimari tunaweza watch porn na wife. Ama naweza watch na hazi. Mm-hmm. But you see the challenge is um, it begins to introduce things sometimes your wife cannot do or your husband cannot do. And these ideas are planted in your head. So basically if you can do it there then you look for an option. And that's how you open a door of cheating. Cuz porn inaanza kukuletea watu wako very perfect. Kumbuka ni acting watu wamepigwa makeup watu wamepigwa hizi vitu zote na na hata unaanza ku compare wife yako na ama actor and and because of options unakuta inaweza kufungwa kwa level ya perversion things that are not even biblical that cannot be done in mm. what we call even natural hata tujaanza kuingia kwa spiritual side it would not deal na very social and that opens a door of adultery mm. and a door of fornication because now there are ideas planted you know we we have different mechanisms Um, we have our barriers our limitations we have how far we can go in, in every matter in life even sexually and because of our different mechanism perceptions mm. desires and all that you might be married but you realize that someone has different uh, proclivities and barriers and so unakuta to some people it's a no no so what will you do mm-hmm. and that door is already open mm-hmm. you begin to compare your wife or your husband what happens if you get someone that is comfortable with that thing that your wife was a husband is not comfortable you go ahead and so you go ahead so ideally it opens a door of perversion and a door of of immoral and many marriages are broken mm. there's also the question of one party is watching and the other party is not watching so ideally you realize kwa hiyo area biblically ukimarika inakuanga your body belongs to your wife and your wife's body belongs to you. Hiyo ni Bible kwa Corinthians. Marriage is not an exchange of vows, it's also a surrender of bodies. So ni kumaanisha I sh- I should not have pleasure 
with another person. The pleasures of my body should be enjoyed by my wife. Directly or indirectly? Yes. Because even if you have pleasure by watching, yes. you are clearly cheating indirectly. That is true. Yeah. So nikama, nikama unakuta, you, you go to a place and you indulge in pleasures and your body was automatically surrendered to your wife and the same thing your wife body was surrendered to you. And then remember, you are watching th things that are acted uh, people that are paid to do whatever they do. In fact, they say everything is scripted, even the sound they produce, everything. It's direct. cut. It is directed. You know, these are products you're mm. creating for the market. So, so, so there are people who don't get satisfied um, in their marriage because they went with porn in their head. It will create a distorted intimacy. You see, your, your wife is not a bicycle. There's a process. This is someone you love. Pona inanga love. Ani strangers umepeo doyako, umepeo doyako. Fanyeni iki, tumalizeni. Yeah, it's the same thing. Employment, unanga relationship na employer. Ni contract ni wabain. Ni unimini dunga jobi yangu ni gemshara. So everything nafanya na kuanga scripted to make the employer happy. But at the end of the day, see, I did a relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because of what we are doing. So yeah. th that's exactly what happened. Mm. So it's always a big lie that, you know, Mkimari as a watch, it opens a door of perversion. And, and there are people who got recruited into pornography and later now got recruited into masturbation because what they saw, they couldn't even ask for. And, and others got recruited into cheating and, and, and perversion mm. at the end of the day. Mm. And then sasa unakuja kwa the financial implication. Into it aku cost do, it aku cost time, um, it aku cost vitu mob sana. Na ita kumesa kiri. Ita kumes. Tukikuja hapo kwa masturbation, tu nikitangulia. Mm. Majority of the people that masturbate will lose energy function. There's a part of energy na drive una losingi kwa mm. life. Mm. Utakuta uli masturbate sambili, but body yako inanza kurika vasa sita. Yanu nasikia tu kiuchovu fulani, unasaiki ya kufanya vitu, nini. So you can imagine, if daily that's your routine, the time you're wasting, the yeah. opportunities. Yeah. And you see opportunities na time, that's where the money is. Hii time enye tunaspenda hapa, hii ni do. Opportunities na and time. time, that's where the money yes. is. So yeah. if, if every day you're wasting four hours on porn, ukiresearch na nini, ama umebaki kwa office ndo upate space yako, you can imagine the amount of time you're wasting. Na ata, ata iki tu inaffect mbaka mas today academically. Mm -hmm. Unakuta boya li kwa msmart, nime anza kumuaffect. Na yoda kamia kwa masturbation. Yeah. Then sasa kuna the spiritual part. Yes, let's get spiritual. The, the spiritual part yeah. of pornography. What people don't know, there is a demon in charge of sexual perversion. It's, kuna zile zinaitangwa among the seven princes of hell. Now the name of that demon is Asmodeus. Asmodeus? Yes. In a car plant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Asmodeus. Yeah. Asmodeus yeah. is the demon behind lust. And, and, and it is the demon behind everything sexual related. Perversion. Um, uh, what happens? Sexual perversion. Uh, mambos that could break marriages because of immorality. And kuna, kuna, kuna level of immorality. Atawe mwenye uwi you have a beautiful wife, a perfect home, but ujuangi unakutanga tu ni kama, ni kama, ni kama umekwa chain. Unakutanga tu ikitu inakuvuta. You, you have no control over yourself. Ata mm -hmm. watu unadoze now, mm -hmm. unangaliangu na jiambia maze, naeza wa, wacha wife msupa hivi, ni, ni ende hapa hivi. You know, there's, there's a, webo nyo ujelewi, mm -hmm. ama ata tu as a woman, unakuta maze, you have an amazing husband, machinua. yani naeza wacha such an amazing man, mm -hmm. and then it ni niende mtuka uyu. At a, at a, a K. So it's, it's called Asmodeus. And what people don't know that there are seven spiritual gates. Yeah. One of them is our eye. Our eye. Yes. Our eyes, our ears, our hands, mm. our um, sexual organs, our, our um, the, 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 the anal duct. Mm. Those are, yes. those are nini, their spiritual <coughs> gates. The navel. Adoke na kuombea watu. Sana sana ukutemtu akona kitu netango generational connection. Many times people pray for the novel. Juna kuta, your connection to your mother was through the novel. Kitovu. Yondo ilikuwa connection. Na ulikuwa feed through that particular source. Mm -hmm. And 
spiritually, not only were you connected physically, but also these are so contact spiritually ili na kuconnect kwa family na bloodline. Mm -hmm. So ideally unakutanga ukifanya a lot of what we call generational deliverances yeah. watu wengi wakelea mkono kwa navel. Mm -hmm. So ideally unaanza kukuta the eye is a gate. Na hata Matthew 6 inaongea kusu if your eyes are exposed to light the whole body will be full of light. If your But eyes if you're, are exposed to yes. light. But if your eyes are exposed to darkness, darkness, the whole body will be full of darkness. Mm -hmm. So people have never known that the eye is a gate. The second thing, one of the prophecies ambayo inaongea kusu the second coming of Jesus iko connected na the days of Lot as it was in the days of Lot. Now ukienda kwa the days of Lot, Sodom and Gomorrah, our soul kwa nataka na maenjo. Sexual perversion was on the rise and perversion does not just happen there must be an atmosphere mm -hmm. and a trigger. Mm -hmm. So ideally unakuta tunaishi kwa age where everything is sexualized. And the enemy is very, the enemy knows this thing. Lin, ukingia leo kwa udevo. Devo afundisha nangi theology. Devo kufundisha spirituality. That's why wachawi, ma, ma occultic people, those guys are deep on spiritual things. Uku kwa hile volietu, ndio tunataka anga kuambiwa iki to see real. Mm. But the devil operates on spiritual rules and laws. Sisi no tunambia angwa iki to ya kiroho ni story. But your eyes are a gate. Iki tu ni fake. Eh, but the one that Sorry. is telling me is fake. Mm. Anapendanga evil wa mini ni fake. Because mm. yeye operation yake ni spiritual. Mm -hmm. So uki believe ni <coughs> fake ako na advantage ya ku, 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 ku possess. Mm -hmm. And that's why many people try to ignore. But they cannot ignore the consequences and the results. The consequences and the results. Yes. Yes. But you know, manga. China exists. Juja yenda. But iko. But China exists. Juna believe. China iko. Yes. Juiko. So imamba spirit iko. So your eyes are a gate mm. to the spirit. Mm. And the reason why porn is very addictive. Ju kuna two levels. Kuna demonic possession. Na kuna demonic oppression. Possession ni pepo in Asian daniyako. Oppression ni pepo zina kugandamiza, zina kuopress. Mm. That's why porn in affect non-believers, mm. na believers. In fact, um, majority, ukionge history hata kwa church, unajuanga ikitu ni noma. Yeah. Ju, unakutanga, it's, a, it's what we call a private scene. Yeah. Ju, zinima kuambia kusu the A's of um, internet. Internet. One of them is anomit, ano, ano, anonymity. Anonymity. Yeah, anonymity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hakuna mtu wana kuona, hakuna mtu wana kujua. So ina, 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 ina graduate na kuwa kitu nito the secret scene. Yeah. Na um, many people wamejaribu kupray, lakini nothing happens. Kwa sababu, wakati ume expose your gates mm. to that content, mm -hmm. inakuanga wewe ndo umejipeleka kwa mapepo. Wacha to take example. Naona hizi miti vile ziko nyuma yetu, yeah. azina shida na sisi. Yeah. So if there is a snake here, Sisi to go beyond easy miti, to ingie ndani. Hii nyoka ikituuma, sisi ndo tulijipeleka. But kama imetuli hapo na sisi tumetuli hapo, mm. hakuna mdo wasumbua mwingine. Mm. So most of the times, sisi ndo wingia kwa internet tuna search. So ni kama there is this world, demonic world. Na, 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 na hiki tu nakushua kwa sababu, I, I sit here as a person that went through pornography. So si hati nakuambia vitu sijui. Na, na, na the age bracket ya recruiting ina kuanga 11 years. Iyo ndo the standard age. A, watoi wengi uanza kuona porn at 11. Mm -hmm. Ama the first exposure of porn wanga at 11 yeah. years. Na saizi ya doona semeneza kwa ima enda father juu exposure ya simu. Mm. So ideally, I remember wakati niliokoka. Juna juwa saka ama boy nini. I remember wakati nilikuwa na study kusuyo as modious demon. I remembered... Mm, many or some of the few actors that I could remember walikuwa mechora tattoo ya iyo demon. Kwa mwili unakutuwa mm -hmm. mtuwa mechora mm -hmm. as a tattoo. Mm -hmm. Nandwe kani strike, what? Hii industry. Nakumuka kwanza kuna moja ilikuwa nga, ikianza ilikuwa na jandika the devil's kitchen. But you see, because uko na desire, apete, na unu nakabiza kikidevo, ki tabahon, lakini wea ato utambui, wea toa yu intro. Wea okay. toa okay. yu intro, toa 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 So, sa hizi, ukirudi wanza kukamu kwa consciousness, unajiambia, yani, ase walikuwa so direct, that wananiambia, hii kitu iko manufactured from hell, hii kitu ina dispense demons, bila wase kujua, 
hii kitu ni kuni mada mm. so nikaanza ni kukumbuka sana nikiangalia hii hi, the image of this demon eh juku na vile watu usichoranga graphically naanza kukumbuka mazee kuna maacta walikuanga na hii kitu what do you mean so hiyo asmodius ni nakuanga behind attacks sexually so unakutanga mimi ndo nimeingia kwa net so ziadi ni pepo imenikujia mimi ndo nimeenda kuchokora mapepo yeah. Wow. So and that's why zona kutanga in a create what we call a legal ground of attack. A legal ground of attack demonically ina kuanga hiyo demon iko na legal ground ya kuku attack. Haiku attack illegally. And that's why wasi ujaribu prayer. Mm. Jumi na jua wasi wame struggle ambia <coughs> pasi nime pray iki tu yendi. Lakini at the end of the day una discover until you discover uli pati a legal ground then there must be effort na understanding ndio uweze kutoka nje mm. that's why now many people rely on what we call external <coughs> prayer mimi nataka uniombe mimi prayer yangu iweze deliver mtu not that i'm not anointed but the point here is this is what we call deliverance in partnership there are things you have to do for you to get out mm. so prayer yenyewe naweza omba ni ku strengthen but hiyo prayer inaweza ku strengthen for a few days lazima uko na prayer lifestyle yako yenyewe itakuwa ina kupa strength mm. ya overcome because mm. remember we are talking about uh, possession and oppression so kama ni possession then that demon must get out i remember one day nilikuwa naombea dem uh, tulikuwa tu tuna prayer akadunda nini so eh, nikaanza kumprayer na shindoni aje tunangangana na ipe mm. you know Eh, nikashinua bana ni mimi kuomba viti ama nini the god akaniambia whatever is in her iko ndani yake legally so uwezi command to it okay lazima akuwe willing kwa sababu yeye ndo alinvite mm. na ilikuwa ni through channels za pon so nikamuliza are you willing to be delivered and you know the moment i said yes that's when the thing left not even prayer hiyo consent yake ya kusema hiki tu stuck hiyo ndo ilifanya hiyo it lose the legal ground yeah. ni the same thing um, umefungulia boy keja amekuja ameishi na wewe caretaker hizi mtoa si wewe ndio limu invite mm-hmm. si alipita gate ukasema anakuja kwangu mm. so caretaker kuja kumtoa you know buda nini maana unanitoaje na amekupewa um, uh, authority mm-hmm. but uki come na caretaker usemeniaje by the way toka umse atatoka cuz wewe ndio owner wa hiyo nyumba so ideally <laughs> mimi nikaa caretaker nikisimama hapa si na kuja kufukuza mtu mm. mwenye uli invite so huyo mtu ako na ground so hiyo pepo iko na ground ya kuni disobey It's because at that level nilikwambia spiritual things in zina operating in a laws kuna laws of the spirit so that one lazima uinge kwa kutuna itanga partnership deliverance yes. lazima uko willing na, na lazima uko willing not just to be delivered juko na mtu ni tango sustain deliverance mm-hmm. juko na watu wenda unakuwa delivered baada ya siku tatu tena ulirudi ni kumaanisha you didn't stay on that path of deliverance how could take my own be seriously i'm a fellowship seriously mm. so on the spiritual side ndio you are smodius mm-hmm. the smodius demon ndio yeah. wanga sasa ina ku attack ina ku arrest na ikisha ku attack iku arrest sasa every yeah. demonic activity mm. one objective ina kuanga kukutoa kwa presence mm. za Mungu na mm. anything godly mm. na many people when you watch porn wanaanza anga wana watch wana feel guilty but inafika point wana kuwa numb that unaweza watch hata kuna mzee alikuwa anasema alikuwa na masturbate na anointing wali at watch porn ushakuwa namp kwa vitu za Mungu yani you, you know for you things of god sasa zilisha alafu sasa unakuja kwa self justification au unajua hii kitu uh, ni safe sex uh, unajua hata CBS pata balls is pata HIV so unaanza ku justify because sasa numbness nikaa kukufa nikaa ume die side moja kuna time tulikuwa anga tunachapwa mpaka unaacha kusikia uchungu jumuili sasa ishakuwa namp so even though kwa spiritual pain in africa ngo nakutamsea acha kuwa numb mm. na anything spiritual does not work mm. anything the god you know prayer worship nothing moves you're just numb and that yeah. becomes a good ground now yeah. for you to go all out and mess up mm. so e, e, even your pawn na, na, na hii demon in it was modius sasa ndo nakuanga in charge of what we call the night demons is 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 in doto watu upato wa have sex na majority of people that watch porn wanakuanga na hizo dreams oh. you might call them wet dreams but sasa inakuanga unakumbuka ume trigger smodius mm. um demons as in anger gender mm. because these are spirits but they can wear familiar faces unaweza kutado ume ota ume na mother in law na you know sasa hizi ni gani 
inaotaje mm. but imeva face ya mtu unajua na unashindwa because they have no gender na zinaweza yes. kama kama female ama male and dreams are very are very sensitive because ukisoma solomon solomon alikuwa medos akiamka ngwari aliamka akiwa wise na ali a transaction yake ili happen kwa dream hmm. so kuna initiations wanga zina happen kwa dream watu ulikuwa na watch porn kwa dream umedoz umedoz na boy then unaanza kukuta umeanza kupata gay tendencies na initiation yako ili happen kwa dream ama ume na mimi naongea vitu mtu watu ukuja wananiambia hmm. ama una do, una doz uliota umedoz na dream the next thing unakuta lesbian tendencies zimekuanza ama tu perversion ulikuwa sijui pale kwa sexual orgy juzi ndo vitu sasa ziko planted in your in, in your mind. mind and the main cause ya easy night demons their core objective ni ku release the spirit of lust hiyo ndio core objective it's not just an attack at ulale mm. ufeel ni kauli have sex mm. the core objective ni ku release the spirit yeah. of lust you yeah. have to me have your wet dream the next thing unakutanga uko na uncontrolled sexual desire because that was the core objective now the funniest thing easy spirits they don't respect salvation ato watu wameokoka water hizi ndoto ana kumbuka kuna time niliingianga lodge nilikuwa nimeenda meru nikarushwa kwa room na ni tulifika late so tuka tukaingia kwa hizi tu malojo za mtaa mm. kumbe hilo jo kulikuwa na broth ya luku so ni kama hizi ndo zile marumu watu walikuwa wanapewa mm-hmm. mazee vile tu niliingia kulala hivi nikasikia nikaa kidem kimeingia kwa bed na tukangangana jo unajua sasa dream iko kwa subconscious na tukangangana ndogo dakaniambia boss hii ni lojo si uombe cleanse place what do you do kanga ni ujinga my day is you won't go see fast fast is it is me to by the way na kanga ni ujinga na kanga ni ujinga you do bengia lojo na sema baba natakaza hii kitano na you don't really get au do you do zil go zil up there up we we go any visit na na inaweza kuwa ilikuwa so demonic so spiritual that woman so mimi nimeingia hapo nimepata ki attack na nimetoka mission nimetoka place ku praise yani nimetoka ku judge video zangu mara you know i is the god so tunasema nga i pepo si ya watu wenye aina anga respect ya mafuta hii watakata mapazi hata mm. saa zingine uki fast yes. for long ama saa zile ume preach for long unajua ku preach mtu uji empty unakutanga flesh kwa life mm. hiyo time unakutanga ime kuattack ndio hiyo sasa imekam eh na he come the main objective yes. remember ni ku release last. last people call it wet dream eh, wase pia hii na kuanga divided kwa sababu za manga aje nini nini but muli zanga tu swali How comes akuna siku sha hiyo ta umedish ukamko umeshiba? Eh. Eh, how comes he do not to have sex na mkanga? Kuna reaction. Kabisa unaweza sema body yangu ni kama ilikuwa involved. Na kuna proof pia. Na kuna proof. Alafu wale wazo wamepitia wao nyamaza. Jua wenyewe hajapitia wanakuanga loud sana. Haini uongo nini? Na wenyewe wamepitia chini ya maji wanakuambia anga pas hizi vitu. Mimi hata najua watu walalange kabisa. Zingine there is even a level where these demons become so attack ad- addictive ama zinakuattack to a point of na feeling kazi na kurep. That always lala. Ukifunga too much hivi kime show up. Even there is a lady who told me kuna moja ilitokea ikamwambia wewe ni wangu and they hinder even marriage yeah. and they even look like they comfort you especially <laughs> kama kwa marriage unakuta mkikosana na mzito mm. unakuta hiyo demon inaku visit mm. so inakuta inaanza ku affect your intimacy with your husband ama your wife then unaanza kukuta sasa ina open that door mm. unakumbuka si denye na soni nini si dear last yeah. now you can see what porn is doing spiritually uli fungwa window kwa dunia mapepo and the next thing the hiyo 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 last ki take over Mazi unaweza angalia mtu hivi kuna watu hata ukiongea nao unaweza sense last kuna level last inakuanga atmospheric kuna dema shay kuja kunifungukia lakini pesa story zake mazi mpaka nikamfukuza nikamwambia aziishia mm alikuwa yani sikuwa nime mario time oh yani tulibonga nikasikia mwili yangu ina react nikamwambia azi mini pasi lakini wacha tu niende tafuta demo mpe story haya <laughs> na aliniambia alikuwa na struggle na lesbianism akaniambia pasi mi watu wote upe story yangu wewe dos na mimi kwa sababu by the time anaanza kufungua channel ya life yake ako crowded na last mpaka 
mind yako inaacha kumview kama patient kama uja profit unaanza kumview kama hiyo last inaanza kuku affect that's why kuna watu unaweza kaa nao two sentences the that sentence unaanza kuongea sexual stories ndio unashinda ngoa yani kila mtu and, and i'm sorry to say this yeah. it reaches a place that last can be so much on you mpaka iku subject as a victim of rape cuz that's how mtu tu anakuona na feel anataka kudoze na wewe na ajui kwa nini ama unakuta pia wewe uko na so much last mm. to a point of ukiona tu demo unataka kudoze naye mm. and inaweza ku convert kwa, kwa kwa very funny sexual things um uh, uh, and all that na, na sasa una goda sex is all over ma 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 ma, ma massage pala sex is so available so unakuta the moment uko so much crowded na last mm. it's very easy <coughs> to get it but this is the funniest thing last one sex but sex does not satisfy last so it's a drive that makes you go for sex but after having sex you feel bad you feel pathetic you feel disgusting. disgusted don't ask you know nini but your last kikuja ni kai na shut back a mind yako you go back yeah you just want to go and have sex hence the addiction uh, hence the addiction so so the chain continues majority of people who watch porn they end up masturbating because and i said to thirds of the porn watchers are men men are sight beings so the moment they see they are triggered and so what is the easiest way out <coughs> is masturbation many people will come and say at the there are very few medical uh, things written about masturbation one thing masturbation reduces your sperm count unaweza fika point uko sasa kupata watu hii your sperm count yeah. so so it's a risk you see in the west children are wa ata marriage ni kitu mnaingia kwa contract hata sasa hivi unaanza kusikia madema ah mimi sitaki watu hii sitaki kuluza kaka flat tummy you know <laughs> 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 yeah. differently but, but mm. you begin to see that um, I, I, the first effect na kuanga hiyo inakuanga una lose uh, nini sperm count spiritually inakuanga you lose your connection with god yani life yako ni kama ni kama what do i call it ni kama kupoa maji mm. ina ina cracked vessel you never walk in the fullness of the spirit because you have a leaking kind of thing na ini kitu ime affect was a wengi kwa church because i said it is a secret sin yes hakuna uskutamko masturbation imejandika kwa sura mm. and you see it's something that leads you to self gratification na pia it steals energy i was watching someone giving a talk na kasema there is a connection between ejaculation and energies mm. of your mind mm. and even your body senses that yeah. this ejaculation <clears throat> is fake it releases false semen a part of the composition of your semen in akwanga false it's not it's not the composition of semen that you release when you're having sex mm. so mbaka body yako and a part of your brain in akwanga altered in terms of when a person is masturbating mm. and they even say people that masturbate some of them lose a level of intelligence mbaka memory unakuta umeanza nga kuhang ulikuwa msharp ulikuwa chopi and this is a is a is a research i'm pursuing through kubonga tuna ma today you sometimes mm. open up sikamza mm. kuambia mazee ni pasi mimi nilikuwa chopi mimi kuja hicho na grades shida yangu ni masturbation so unaanza kukuta it has a direct impact on intelligence so unakuta ni kama in affect mind yako mm unaanza ku lose and i say this thing also brings what i call a, a, a false fatigue after master bed unasikia mwili imechoka au una una, eh, una say kufanya anything unataka tu kulala and 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 you lose the drive of life time waits for no man so the more una lose it drive mm. there are people who are waking up and chasing dreams mm. by the time you discover it is too late na life is shall move on mm. it also because porn you watch in secret and you know it's the wrong thing when you are masturbating unataka nga kumaliza hii shughuli ya raka so what happens is that if when you are married it introduces you to what we call um fast ejaculation you end up not even satisfying your wife because you see the moment you may watch porn ime kuchocha so mwili tu inataka kuafsa mwili sasa inafikiria the end product because your your chocha inataka yeah. tu relief yes so so by the time you ingia kumasturbate you are you are so much focused on the end goal which yeah. is ejaculation yeah. and not even enjoying the process so ideally unakutanga unaweza enda kudoze na wife ama ta wife ame doze na hazi but at the end of the day 
Ako so much on the end goal that that thing is very much short-lived. Mm. And many men that masturbate, majority don't <coughs> satisfy their wives. Because end goal yako. And sometimes because of pornography, you might sleep with your wife, but there is an image in your mind of a woman you've always wanted to sleep mm. with. So, so you end up sleeping with your wife, and then after that, now you go and sleep with the other woman. Yes. In your mind. In because, your mind. Yes, and now this leads to masturbation. Mm. And it, it makes people feel dirty. You know, it, people feel filthy about it. Mm -hmm. um, it makes people lose self-esteem. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, th as I said, in Anzaku, kill your language, your interaction, mm. uh, connect na watu mm. and all that. Mm. Uh, na na yotu perversiveness and all that. Yeah. Uh, in Apotezanga, the drive of life. You're, you're nakuta too, you want your secluded space, uh, you want to be alone, you just want your time because uh, there are these things una, una jaribu kudu mm. and mm. all that. Yeah. And, 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 uh, it's a crisis. Is it an easier addiction to come out of? And um, also, where is the church in all of this? I mean, it's a crisis. It's a, it's a private sin. Mm. So, what do you have to do with my mom's and my mom's? But I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Maybe you don't have to do it a few ways out. Because yeah. there's nothing impossible, by the way. Mm, good. It, uh, it, it's very possible. Yeah. Uh, one of the things, one of the way out, ni strong desire to overcome. Every change I is a product that. of desire. And anyone that has a desire, in the devil jaribu kukwambia awe ni addict. Na hapo wana jaribu kusilence consciousness. Tukiwa wadogo tulikuwa tunatumango na kama kaa. Tamoja na kijiko. Kome guru ya ucha unajua story. Yes. Watu wa gaso hizi ya lewa. Wazi ya lewa. Badu liku na ikiwa kama kaa kwa kiko, yeah. kijiko. Yeah. Alafu na kimbia nako. Unaeno na eka kwa jiko, unafunika na maka, alafu na pepetea. Yes. Iyo maka ili kuwa na option ya kuhakisha the whole jiko and a small spark of desire to change is enough to bring change wow. so all you need to do is fame fame i mean flay yes. your fan fan that desire the desire and that desire haita faniwa kwa atmosphere nyume kuwa mm. itanza kufaniwa kwa atmosphere zingine mm. you know part of it ni kama sasa ku change ile mbogi unaweka ile place unakaa mziki unachezanga but pia mziki wanga trigger juu iko na soft porn mob sana mm. eh iko na ini trigger so unaanza ku change a few things and you find that desire na pia every time kwa mkanga na kujiambia ni aje i'm not an addict and i'm going to overcome because you are what you think about yourself mm. we can't change how you see yourself so your desire na we mwenyewe kwa na confidence number two ni strong determination Job made a covenant, I have made a covenant with my eyes that I'll not look at a woman, lastly. You need determination. That you may macho zako, easy macho. Me, dames, tamuangalia na any other way. And it was a personal covenant. Mm. And, and, and anyone that got out of any addiction, they were determined. Um, kuna watu wameamua kuchange ata their phones. Umetoka kwa smartphone, umeingia kwa gadgets. Mm. Kuna watu wameamua kuswap their jobs. Juna kutei job limepewa, Indio baria yangu. And as long as ni kwa hii job na kutanga tunme blanda. So your determination ndo wange na ina provoke the spirit of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Kuna dema li kujaka ni ambia pasi ina struggle. Kuna u boy si u chat na tumia na vitu zofala. Nika ambia ni pe sim card. Kavunja sim card. Nika ambia ya sim card ingine. Mm. Nika ambia wawo need prayer. Kuna ni two action. Mm, <laughs> Siki la kitu eh, prayers. Siki la kitu prayers. Yeah. So kuna yo determination ita provoke actions. Mm -hmm. Na vitu zenye sita kusaidia. Um, me, me, one of the things you know, I didn't get out of, of porn, one of the things I had to dispose all pornographic materials, I literally dispose, and that's where my deliverance came. I could come to Kuombewa, I said to Kuombewa, I said to ya pregnant mothers. Yani tu, nasiki watu wana Kuombewa tu, natokea unambia mungu, unajua shida za angu, unajua. Ju, you are tired, umeshinwa kutoka, but how jai jua, eat and idume participate. So your determination, na yo tukujua, I need out. One day tu niliamua ni aje, hizi vitu juli kwa dea masidi na matepe, ni kasema hizi zote na zitupacho. Do you know when they landed in the toilet, I felt like something left me. But sasa hizi noma, ni ati data na internet iko. And it's easily accessible. Easily accessible. So sometimes muse manga, detox, toka inje, yes, every night. It's for your own good. Three months I ita kumada, nunuwa kabamba kaapo. The that thing ni avoid things that trigger desires. You know, uh, many things can trigger. Is of it una watch, mzikenyo na skiza, 
uh, sex chatting uh, kuna vitu kama telegram kuna so many sites online zenye wasio ingia na unakuta ina trigger that particular desire mm. because the whole thing ya masturbation na nini ni action reaction so the moment you never avoid these yeah. triggers yeah. utaku umeanza kujitoa pole pole and this is a journey is itadanganya mtu ati ata watch leo kesho amke na nguvu za superman new chapter it's a journey na lazima u appreciate the baby steps mm. for you to appreciate the strides mm. lazima uangalie nimeanza hii safari um, eh, eh, imekuwa noma but i'm still on the journey mm. i'm coming out victorious mm. so so the other thing ni sasa hapa ndo pray na kama yeah. and bible study um what would take prayer casually but one thing that people don't know prayer we generate what we call spiritual energy kumbuka tuliongea kuhusu possession mm, na oppression mm-hmm. possession una need deliverance kwa sababu anointing ndio na break the yoke oppression una need capacity mm-hmm. oppression ni kama umezunguko na mawaida na wewe ni small body so the only thing unaweza do ni ukwe weida pia ndio uweze ku overcome yes kitu watu wa jeju wa demons don't die they are spirits so it's not a one day prayer that will give you victory in fact kuna place kwa scripture yesu alianza ku pray akakutoa medos akamwambia say pray that you may not enter into temptation na akamwambia can't you just pray for one hour and this has worked anyone mwenye na struggle na pornography na masturbation try one hour prayer daily one hour kumbuka kuna hiki tuna doingi and it's around 30 45 even more than an hour try an hour what happens with that hour inakupatianga spiritual energy ya flesh kuwa strong ndio weze ku overcome mm. ju bible inasema god ametupatia holy spirit for self control so kuna level awezi na muscles zako is history a good will i'm a strong i'm a good character i'm a good behavior apana ini kitu ama sijui strong personality mm. ni kitu inahitaji strength from within and it akupatia power ya ku deal na forces from without mm-hmm. that's what akuta a study was done that uh, walienda in a certain city and they realized people were dying of depression except the nuns na wakasema the reason why these nuns were surviving the status of that city was in, in chaos yani kila ilikuwa mbaya kwa kila mtu na wakasema the nuns survived because of prayer because there is something you get there is a joy there is a peace mm-hmm. there is strength you get out of prayer mm-hmm. na ukiangalia okay, there's one thing they will fight kwa life ya believer ni prayer and they say prayerlessness equals to powerlessness now imagine how many doors have been opened demonically how many people have been initiated na still church is the last place they want to go and majority of the people are looking for powerful pastors hata tukimaliza hii interview kuna mtu hata nipigia niambia pastor huko uko nasema ni ukweli niombe but what they don't understand they need their own prayer life mm. for them to win mimi naweza kuombe u survive three days yes. but you have a whole 40 50 years ahead how will you survive so that's why you need to pray na that's why zona kuta sasa kuna mapasi tumetengeneza dependency ya eh, uliota kuja tuombe na ukuja na kasidi ili mm. happen kuja tuombe mm, so hiyo shida yako ni benefit kwa yes. but the most important thing ni wewe mwenyewe ku create a personal time mm. na mzee kaniuliza wana hawa ndatoboaje yes it's very simple enda utafute disk remember tuna deal na replacement ile doll uko natumia kwenda kutafuta hizo mabundle na nini enda uweke worship just be disciplined and the work of worship hata kama hauta pray for the one hour stay in that in atmosphere yes. it will affect your mind it will affect everything in fact unasemanga ile part wanga affected na addictions in the right part of the brain and they said there is a system whereby when you read the bible repeatedly inaanzanga ku affect that part of the brain research imefanywa ya watu walikuwa insane na wakasomewa bible na wakarudi same na hizi majuni Kenya na wakarudi same jo kusoma because the bible the word of god is powerful si ati si si word yenye umesikia ni preach mm. kusoma bible hizo words ni word ya Mungu hizo words zina power na the more interact nazo zina kuchange that's mm. why prayer and reading the word kuna mtu wako addicted na my erotic novels huo mzee ni a very replace 
the addiction with addiction to the Bible. Mm. Uta discover hii word kuna kitu ufanya to your mind. It changes you somehow. Mm. Na, na hapo pa prayer. Because some of these things are very spiritual. Uh, utaenda counseling. Ado unenanga unakuta. Kam, kuna mtu nilibonga na ye. Counselor wake na struggle na masturbation. Akwambia hizi vidu nza kawaida. Mm. Andazo unakutu unenda kwa doki. Akwambia kuna anga vitu kaizu. Hizi vidu ni normal. Inakiwa you know. prostate hey, cancer. Anaza kukupe scientific. Uh, scientific. Uo labda ni ka victim. So anatafta mbogi ya kuji justify. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Na day of post-trait cancer, mm. uki study, body mechanism yetu ni different. Nikaa pombe. Pombe kuna mdu kunyo chupa moja na anadunda. Kuna mdu anakaliyanga kreti na akosawa. Na uyo chupa moja, baada ya miaka kadha unasikia sujua lipata liver cirrhosis. Uyu wa kreti ya nakupigia 90 years. <laughs> wow. So uskaitu miya pata ni ya mwili ya mtu. We gufikiri ya, since ili wakwa kita wakwa kwa, mm. we are different. Mm-mm. Wote ingio kusema nga ni post-rate, unajaribu kutibu. Ile time unajaribu kupata watu hii, unakuta, Hafuna buda, unafaya kitu. tuma blank. Na, yeah. na unajua pali shida ya nzi. Unafaya wa blank. Alafu, kuna kuna yo level ya accountability. Mina kumbuka tuki grow. Tuki watu wa sewa young, tulikuwa tumi open life zetu. Um, na kuna time tuma boy wangekamu. Randomly kwa kija yako. Tuku juu na ishingi aje. Your, your space. Sa hizi tuwengia kwa middle class where mm. people want their space. But I tell you there is a time where by invaded space ilikuwa ina idea. Mi ile day in my single days ili bidding ili metafta mse tuish na ye. Alikuwa tu broad ilikuwa na ye kampo. Mm. Na alitoka kwa yo keja akimari na mini ilitoka akimari. Wani ili mwambi I don't trust myself. Mi mm-hmm. ukini achana hii keja na hii freedom. Hai, mi nita blanda. You Hapa. need an accountability yes, partner. Yes, na need accountability. Na unakuta hiyo accountability na kusaidia. Sometimes hati neza kuwa si, si, si mtu wa inje. Ineza kuwa tu ni sizi yako na mwambia nga come to ishi hapa. Mm. Ama hata bro. Kwa sababu wena kukwa hiyo hao. Mm-hmm. Ana limit hiyo space yako ya kutaka kufanya vitu yes. zako. Na unakuta life inaanza kugo on. Mm. Ana, na vi, so many things na kuwa broken. Mm. Na pia mtu uneza open up umuambia by the jana nilidunda. We ni pray ye. Mtu uneza kuwa real na ye. Because those are the people that work with you. Mm-hmm. And they walk with you out of this thing. Mm. Now this person must be mature than you, even spiritually. Unaezenda kwa accountability partner ukute ni victim of the same struggle. So yes. mkute mume form force in itangwa force of people of the same struggle. Mm. Urajua? Mm. So asika, pia una struggle? Pia mm. mimi? Ah, mm. kume tuko hengi? Mm. Chini ya maji mzae. Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> badana ya kuto wana. Yeah, yeah. Muna kutuada mulia ni kareji yeah. So this person must be a person that is mature. Mm. And a person that is willing to get you out. And ma- most of the times, I always say, when, you, when it's sexual matters, try not to reach out to a person of the opposite sex. Try not to reach out. Because babu matters, pornography, masturbation, sexual. Any time umeanza kufungua conversation that is sexual, it creates, um, what do I call it, a comfortability that is not okay. Even though mapasi udunda, mapasi wadu zingi na washirika, atiju wengine ni wa wicked z umeka mkwangu eh wife amepata mtoi mm. Three months na just a dose nae afu mkuja kunipa stories za sex mimi mwenyewe niko wilderness yangu we mwenyewe umekuja kuniambia stories za sex oh pastor unajua mzao wangu wako dubai sasa ni miezi sita hata tuja hiyo nana mimi nina struggle na masturbation na wakwambia mke wangu pia alipata mtoto ni miezi tatu you go <laughs> kaende kaende eh, eh, so unakuta umeanza kufungua channels mm. and that's why even in church we encourage pastors kama ni counseling ya some nature do it with your wife or throw those matters to your wife na even unakutanga kuna pia watu wanakuwa trustingi with their secrets and any time you become open with a person you become vulnerable and this something i'll tell the ladies passes your mungu Uziende hapo kumambia shida zako za sexual zote, u- ukifikiria takusaidia. Sometimes it opens a door of a very unfamiliar conversation. In every talk, the moment wadome anza kuongea kusu sex, there, there is a social barrier. In edango ice breaking, ina kuanga broken, and these people feel like they are no longer strangers. And that's when akuta ina put many pastors into error with their members because we painted ourselves as the lords of all solutions. Sisi ya tupiti yangi hizi vitu. So kama nyinyi muna pitia kuja mtu ambia, tuambia vile mtato, mtatoka. mtatoka. And some people have ended up being abused by the very source they thought they would receive mm. help. And so, 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 where will I go? And that's why we say, these accountability bans be mature. And most of the times, a person possibly of the same sex. Mm-hmm. We can't also fail to appreciate that we also have perversion 
eh, kama tuliona uboyali wa priest juu ya Sodomi so it must be person umewe spiritually mtu mwenye ni machua na unaona huyu kabisa anaweza nisaidia mm. because again we've seen people who went for help only to be crushed mm. and to be damaged further mm. so that door has to be managed very well yeah um, and finally ni to change of lifestyle change of habit eh uh, intention about it discipline for me is is key uh, yani you you won't walk out because you wish you, it, discipline is very key yeah. discipline yeah. is very key be intentional Last, and deliberate yes and deliberate yeah. be intentional deliberate yeah. and then discipline discipline eh uh, kama umeamua amua don't do it for Watcha, anyone easy, amua. Uh, don't do it for anyone do it for yourself mm. na ndamaliza tu na example ya yes. ya msumari ya mm wakati una drive nail kwa wood wakati una drive nail kwa wood kuna ile inakuwa na the head of the nail as long as the head is visible there is hope oh yes because you can pull it out mm. but the more inaingia kuna place wengine inakuwa hard to pull but yeah. you can pull it out yeah. but you remember wakati head imeingia na imekuwa swallowed na wood for you to get out the nail you'll have to destroy the wood, the wood. and that's addiction it's in levels kuna kuna pasho kuna ile una feel imeingia but the day uta feel the nail ilinge kaingia na kwa wood mm. then just know there will be some some serious distraction yes. so i always say before nail ikutane na wood kabisa you still have time Meza majority to. of the people in pornography are not yet addicted to the level that they have to destroy their bodies so that they 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 save mm. they, they they save their lives yes. it's not too late it's not too late and this thing is an i'll tell you it's an end time spirit of perversion immorality as it was in the days of sodom in sodom men were not sleeping with women neither were women sleeping with men to a point that they wanted to rape angels well is kia two men wameingia kwa lot wakasema ni aje to a point lot alikuwa na madota mavajo ukisoma genesis 19 aliwaambia ah ni mavajo akasema zi atambui na au madota mavajo walikuwa mavajo lakini walikuwa perverted juu wakati walitoka sodo wali dose na buda yao so unaanza kuangalia tuko na generation ya ma, watu hii mavajo lakini mapavats mtu huyu yako class 7 lakini ame watch porn ile siku perversion italipuka utashinda ngona nini nilikuwa nalea hmm. na maparu lazima kwa intentional ku monitor gadgets juu si ndio tunalea watoto masimu due time tunaishi siju assignments due nini monitor gadgets one parent aliniambia room ya watoto wangu hainanga lock lock ziko nje so that naweza access any time i want mm. na akasema when i was building them sikuwekea choo na bafu ndani ndio mto hii eh hata kama kujifungia nitaka time kakienda choo <laughs> juu tu jifungia kwa room yes. Eh hey, no, unasikia ni kama ame strike mm. huko amekaa ongea na mtu. Mm. So una kata time hapo. Kakitoka ducho unafunga room mm. can we talk? That's a good tip. Yes. So it's very key maparo don't lower the guard. Ah tu ino innocent wana recruitiwa and the devil is happy about it. Mm. Consequences in a come. Sasa hizo tunaanza kutajua hii pornography na hizi vitu zote. Abortion Kenya shapita half a million mark. Every year we are bought more than half a million children every year. Saizo anasema HIV is almost becoming a pandemic between 17 to 24 it's crazy is this story mnaona sijui kwa dudu shoto wa youtube mm. watu wakichapana huyu mm. ni cheat mm. campus sex is so common and the porn is so obvious but the repercussions are also very visible we are raising a generation of perverts and it is chaos and any time sexual fabric imekuwa torn you have no society cause values zinaanzianga kwa sexual integrity yeah. so we tear that sexual thing apart i tell you we have no society we have no future here and there some of the reasons unakuta depression inaingia imagine una feel filthy kwa na low self esteem umechuja ball eh na hizo days me happen before fika 24 mm. eh ulikuwa na perform fit umeanza kudunda Hauna patience ya life umepewa job una struggle na masturbation you can't deliver pressure ku deliver iko you, you are not stable all these things are there you feel oppressed una feel you are a loser you can't do anything the next thing the exit door is open mm. and and i'm happy that we having this conversation you lazma to deliver was say as early as now yeah. and for me 
great men live from the future. There are sacrifices that are worth it because you know where you're going. Seeking a sacrifice to make for nothing. There are sacrifices we make motivated because of where we are going. Mm. Because this thing has pleasure. I do it here, it has pleasure. But how do I sacrifice Pasi and it has pleasure? There must be, you know, where and where, nine hours, future, mm. destiny versus pleasure, two minutes. Is it worth it? Two minutes versus future. Is it worth then it? Then now, motivation here could change in a quest start mm. because of where I'm going and what I have for my life. Wow. And when that motivation is start, you will say no, even though it has some form of pleasure. Mm. You'll be able to say no because my vision is louder than my appetites. But appetites, if you are louder than vision, then in a kwanga, it's over. It's over. Mm. It's game over. It's game over. Wow. Mm. I can never get tired of it. I feel like, <laughs> I, you know, I always feel like I'm also, I keep telling you, I I, I keep learning also yeah. in the process. Mm. I also feel like I don't know anything, you know. I feel like I'm also sitting with one of the greatest educators. You mm. are able to genuinely take us through these topics in a way for me, no one else would. And we really do appreciate you for Thank that. You. Yeah, and I know we have to wind up, but where can people find you? Um the jokila topic on a pianga na letanga counseling me. Yes. <laughs> but it's a good thing. See so it's a good thing. Yeah, we are a, trying a, to a, create a very, very impactful yeah, it's community. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing yes. to change lives. Yeah. 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 Um for more we can we can talk. Uh, mm -hmm. I have an office line. Yeah. Which is zero four zero zero seven four zero seven one four seven one three, and my church is located in the Muru yeah. Life Church, yeah. and I don't work alone. Yes, I have mentored many young people. So what I'm to come up on an issue, uh, they may not necessarily see Pastor T. Yeah, there, there are many people I work with. Mm. At a MFK point now, we are partnering with professional Christian counselors. Because some things are beyond us. Let mm. Jambia, how do we work with this person? Mm -hmm. uh, we also uh, partnering with even even rehabs, so that we so kuja but na juu yata say deka kwa rehab in a drug issue and as I say deka but Christian rehabs. So gujuni me pateo demand ya nata kuanga na pastor T. Yes. Ayuko. Yes. Me me ayendo na zanzibar. Me nata kapa pastor T. Yes. So ni me identify two team ya wa say some of them are telling their own story. Yeah. Say to one na juu na juu msia kona your strength. Msia li struggle na gay juu msia li struggle na porn msia li struggle and it becomes more powerful. So, uh, so, and also now a lot of high school talks, a lot of high school talks. So, is it Kwanza to me, 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 to And I discovered any time on a guzia topic, ya porn, was it on your mother, on a juna deal, na real issue. Mm. Mm. In fact, so is it on your biggest uh, adverts, Caesar airtime, is a data, because the money is not in airtime. Man is in data. Na saizu kiangalia most of the telecommunication, our target to a mother. Zile advert za a mother's nation. Ni watoe. Ni matini. Joined the biggest users of data. Now most of them, 45% ya searches in a kuanga porn related. In fact, wa simango watoe wa kifunga chuo, ni ni search za porn u double. Are one of the biggest consumers. Of so porn. So tuna raise my perverts. No king ya saizi machuo. Lesbianism, gayism, gayism. Mm. is the order of the day. Mm. Na masturbation. Mm. Kwa sasa anu watu iwa me feed porn na iyo yote. Kwa nambia mtu juzi, atu iwa me grow kwa environment ya sex. Unajua mtoto wa me grow ya kwa environment ya matusi. First wadi yake na kwa nga matusi. Mtu iya me grow ya kwa environment ya sex. Unajua nga na ile so nga naimba. Ile so nga tengia studio kwa nza atoe. Wamla mbezi. Juu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Meskia, you know, the environment. These are innocent. What E sound wanna produce. At fake work on them, Gengeton, Tunafa Kumon, to Jambia, Ato E, Ni Unim Totona Jufunisha Kuanga. Imagine Toto get your Kwanza and a Jew and Imatusi. Juno Mekwakiskia. But you know, society toko. What to you am Kazubui, ni sex kwa radio, kwa TV, Kila Kitu, sex, everything. Bakasa Zena Kua. That's the first thing they, mm. so they are doctrinated. Na wala watu wana kuambio si have sex, wako na mawaifu wa tatu, wondo menta. So una jinu huku kuna endanga aji. Mm. So we have to go back and be deliberate and talk to them. Otherwise tuta lose generation, itafika point, sex ita lose value, 
e, single mothers wataingia watu hii watakuangatua na zaliwa wengine wakichujangwa mm. ifike point uko na society haijulikani kwa api. yeah haijulikani kwa api. Hmm. So it's a crisis. It's a crisis. And, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy we are having these conversations yes. now because mm. I think it's helping, you know? Yes. Because the mistake would be for us to stay silent. Th that's very true. Yeah. yeah. Someone said people expect good behavior from this generation, yeah. yet they never planted them. So we expect to harvest what we never sow. Yeah. So thank you for the plan. Nine conversation it ended. Yes, I tell you as long as we are alive. Yeah. Uh, last night and then. Yeah. Kuna uh, ona nail haijaingia kwa wodi bado. Haijaingia sana kuna hope, sio? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, Pastor T for coming. For me, I always say I do not take any time you come uh, here on the show for granted. Na hata wewe umejionea kwa comments. People said bring Pastor T as many times as possible. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Mm. and I appreciate that you are really connecting well Amen. with our audience. In a in a lin -Gogi church. Lin -Gogi <laughs> church. <laughs> <laughs> My people to go in a Lingugi church. Um, uh, I, uh, wow, what a conversation, guys. What a topic. And I am glad we actually had this conversation together. I would love to hear your thoughts on this particular uh, topic and what other topics do you think we could cover here on the show ama mnataka kuona pastor T akitakul what other topics hapa remember if you want to get hold of him ama the people he has in his own ministry his contact details are here on the screen and we'll also be pinning his youtube channel hapo on the comment section namnaeza and am subscribe amazing topics peer have been discussed on his youtube channel if you want to share your story with me, my email is also here on the screen. Send a well-detailed brief of your story and who knows, we could be sitting with you next on the Lean Googie Show. A huge shout out to my team. Thank you so much guys for the time and the dedication you take for this show and making sure that it reaches our audience right on time. And to you, our audience, we do not take your support for granted. Tuende kama tunaendelea, me, I thank you guys. I'm forever grateful. Now, let's see this safari itatupeleka wapi si ndio? My name is Lynn Gugi. Till next time, bye-bye.